Hello guys, welcome back to our channel Planet for Tech. I hope you all are doing great and learning lots by watching all the continuous tech series what we have just published in a few days. So now in the same order we I'm going to launch the new tech series that is the master in web driver IO and Cucumber JS. So in this series I am going to describe you from basic level like what this web driver io framework is and cucumber js how we can use this web driver io and cucumber js so before moving ahead let me uh, let you know like uh, this uh, tech series is going to be very helpful for the person who is looking their career in the automation testing because web driver io and cucumber js with the help of this we are going to create automation testing project so with the help of this automation testing uh, we can easily uh, test the existing application web application and mobile application as well so web driver io and cucumber js it these two we are going to use in combination so it is going to let help us uh, to create the automation test cases so we using uh, uh, for web mobile uh, web application and the mobile app as well so today in the first episode we are going to uh, look how we can set up this web driver io and cucumber js in our uh, device laptop or desktop whatever you are using so let's start it so there are prerequisites for uh, prerequisites for web driver io and cucumber js projects so those i am going to mention here so this uh, setup we need to do first in our device the first thing is what we have to install java and configure java home this is needed and the second point we need to install node.js if it is not so we have to install it and the third point is once node.js is installed we will be able to have the access on npm and npx if this is not installed so you have to install it so these are the package manager node package manager command or line tool you can say and after this we are going to install cucumber js and along with uh, we are going to install the web driver io so let's see it one by one so to check like uh, java is installed in your device or not what we need to do so simply you have to open command prompt and you have to check like java c so it will show you this way like uh, java compiler is it configured properly or not it is saying it is com configured and you want to check like environment variable java home is uh, environment variable java home is configured or not so you can configure it so see first of all you check like it is configured or not so let me make clear it set java home i think this is not configured uh, in my device so this is optional also so if you have configured then it is okay otherwise you can skip it now but java installation is required then after we have to check node.js is installed or not so let me show you so you can see here i have latest version of node version 16.117.1 if it is not installed in your device so you can install it um, by going to its official website so let me show you its official website so in the chrome you have to search node js download for windows so it will uh, redirect you to the official website so this is the official website of node.js so from here you have to uh, install latest uh, support version so latest lts version you have to install it so windows if you are using windows otherwise mac or, or source code if you want so windows in the windows you have to install the msi version 32 bit or 64 bit as per your system requirement so once you have installed so you can check by running that command node version if it is showing like that and after that you have to check the next point is what npm and npx is working proper or not so you can check npm so it is uh, 8.15 uh, 8.15.0 for me so this is the latest one as well so after installing node you can install the npm as well and npx let me see 
yeah this is same npm and NP, npx both version are same for me you can install it and let's see the next point so the next point is installing cucumber js and web driver io so these two we are going to install together so for this there are setup commands we need to do uh, we need to install uh, one by one let me show you this how we can start this project what you need to do simply uh, create one folder so you can see here under the javascript folder i am going to create this from uh, folder uh, project so first of all what we need to do create one folder simply and let me uh, rename it let's just rename it like web driver I, whatever name you want you can give cucumber just like that and inside this you have to start the command prompt so let me close it you can install the git bash and whatever you want open in terminal so i just started the terminal powershell or else you want so you can start the windows command prompt cmd like this and once it is uh, open so you can uh, pass the command so the first command we have to give npm so it is going to create one package.json file inside this folder that package.json file we are going to use, install node modules so it is asking package name so package name is uh, simple you can say demo version 1.0.0 description this is demo project entry point obviously it should be index.js keep it as it is test command we don't have test command and the git repository you can skip it keywords you can skip it author let me make my name uh, license skip it it is asking is this okay yes it is okay now this is created you can see there let me show you dir you can see here package.json file is created there and also in the folder you can see if you want so this package.json is installed now after this what you have to do so let me write this step there in the wordpad so what we have run so simply the first command you have to run npm in it so this is the first command then after you have to run the another command let me make it the list here so once it is installed you have to install the web driver io so for that the command we have to use npm sorry npm install web driver io and we have to save it for development save dev this command you have to use so here you have to give the double under double hyphen i'm going to show you this npm install so you can see here 77 packages are updated now let's see the file so here you can see the node modules folder is created and inside this web driver io is all already installed you can see here so we can find that folder web driver io so here you can see it is web driver and web driver io these two are installed properly so this one you have to check and validate first now come to the next command so the next command we have to run npm install cucumber save dev so this command we have to run web driver it is web driver io slash cli so this command we have to run next let me show you np um, install it is save it is dev at the rate wdio cli web driver io cli command line interface it is installing so we have installed the command web driver io cli as well let me start that project in vs code so here you can see i have opened that project in vs code and this is the package or json till now so we have installed three modules that is web driver io cli cucumber and web driver io so this is the latest version 8.3.2 now i am going to configure 
the config file for WebDriver IO. So how we can do that? So for that, inside the node modules, you can see there is a WDIO. This this CLI we are going to use. In this CLI, we have to go inside the config. So there is a inside the config we have to run the command. So let me show you how we can do that. So start the terminal here. New terminal. So you have to make sure like this terminal is the bash terminal git bash you can see now here we can run this command so the command is what we have to go inside the node modules then there will be a bin and inside this we have to run the command here we have to give the terminal uh, command line webdriver io wd io you can see and after this you have to call config so this command we have to run this is our next command so let me make a note here in this word file for you so this is the next command you have to run but this command you have to run from git bash shell so here you can see i have added the dollar symbol to make it different now let's run this command first so you can see it is asking few things before moving ahead it is saying like a project name demo was created at this location is it correct so we have to pass yes it is correct now it is asking two things like uh, the environment uh, where should your test be launched like what test cases we are going to create so where we have to launch this test cases so th there we have two options local and browser so for now you have to keep the local only you can switch by the up and down arrow key but i am going to select the local one first and after this it is asking the next point uh, where is your automation backend located so the backend is located in your local device in local host or in the uh, production server so on the basis of that you have to select it so here on my local machine in the cloud in the cloud using the source lab so this all information are there so for now i'm taking the on my local machine next it is asking like uh, which framework do you want to use so guys here we have uh, three frameworks with the web driver io one is the mocha and uh, jasmine and the cucumber so in this uh, tutorial i am going to describe you the cucumber one so let's select the cucumber first now it is asking do you want to use a compiler so here we have to pass the compiler either yes or no so we can say uh, we don't need any compiler so you can keep it no type script or babel so let's suppose i am taking the type script or babel whatever you want you can keep it so babel i'm taking here now it is asking do you want web driver io to auto generate some test files so if you want yes then you can give yes otherwise no so let me give it yes next where should this features file be located it is asking where we have to keep this feature file so this is the path inside the web driver io js cucumber js this folder we have and inside this folder it will create one feature uh, folder and inside this it is going to create so simply uh, you can enter where should this step definition be located so we have to provide featured uh, file location and the step definition so don't worry about this because i'm going to describe you what this feature file is and what this step definitions are so this all i'm going to describe you one by one so don't worry about this now click next do you want you to use uh, page objects yes we want the page objects keep it yes next where are your page objects located so the same location simply you have to press enter next it is asking like uh, what kind of uh, reporter you want so we have uh, spec dot j unit other information but i am going to select the spec one so list on uh, last point is it is saying what kind of uh, plugin we want to test this so we have uh, a wait for and angular component harnesses so wait for is common so we can keep it next it is asking like uh, 
what driver we want to use service driver like uh, we need to have one service driver on the on that service driver we are going to run this test cases so chrome driver is more common most common so we are going to use chrome driver only let's click on next it is asking like what will be the base url so for now keep it localhost only and there is do you want me to run the npm install yes we want so now it is installing all the things one by one so this is what about the project setup so here you can see it is installed properly once it is installed it you will uh, able to see this screen uh, success and uh, successfully set up project so in this location the project setup is done so let me show you the folder here so this is the folder inside which we have installed so you can see this is the feature folder it is installed and page objects set step definition all things you will find here only now i'm going to show you the first script how we can run this script to test like the setup is installed properly or not so for this it is saying like uh, npm run wdio so let me run this the running this it is calling this script and it is working you can see it is just starting the uh, chrome driver you can see so this is the application it is testing because we have allowed uh, like uh, to install some default things that is why it is done it is showing you the demonstration how it is working so here you can see we have one past and one total means we have only one scenario or uh, once two scenario we have and those scenarios are passed properly so those we are going to discuss in the next episode so till that time you have to say do the setup this setup in your device so that in the next episode we can go parallelly and we can do some awesome stuff so i hope guys you understood like how to set up this uh, uh, project for web driver io and cucumber js so let's do practice and meet in the next episode so thank you guys thank you so much for watching this episode if you like our efforts don't forget to press the like button and share among your friends thank you guys